So I'm gonna start off by roughly separating my daughter's hair with my fingers. My daughter's hair is very curly and even though it's been washed and conditioned the night before, it tends to get a little bit tangled in her sleep. I do have both of my daughters sleep with silk pillowcases, which does help to reduce that, but it still gets tangled nonetheless. So the first product that I'm gonna use is a Super Detangle Spray by Curly Kids. I've been using this one forever. I find it works really, really well. And when I'm spraying it, something that I try and do is I try and put my cut my hand at the front of her head when I'm spraying near the front and that just stops it from getting all over her forehead. Now once I'm done with the, that spray, I just follow it up with just some warm water in a spray bottle because with curly hair, moisture is key. So now that her hair is all nice and damp, I'm gonna run a brush through it. Now when you've got curly hair, getting your hair brushed isn't always the most pleasant experience in the world. So something that you can do to make it a little less painful is hold the bottom of the hair and then start by brushing those tangles at the top out. And then once you've got them out, you can go lower and get the ones at the bottom. It's gonna save you a few tears. Speaking of saving you a few tears, the brush that I'm using is the Denman brush. And the Denman brush is great for getting tangles out and it's also great for enhancing the curls. This thing absolutely changed my life when I first got it. So now that I've brushed out all the tangles, I'm gonna slick her hair back with my hands, pull it all back into a ponytail, and then I'm gonna get some gel, put it on my hands and start uh, just slicking it through her hair. The particular gel that I'm using is the Eco Style Professional Styling Gel with Argan Oil. This is a great gel, quite a strong hold, and you just wanna just just slick it through. You don't want to actually get any in the actual ponytail part, so just do the front. But if you find that this is too strong a hold gel, another gel that I would recommend, which is the gel that I'm using on Zoe's hair, is the Cantu Styling Custard. I use this one a lot as well. It gives you a much more natural look. It's not as strong hold, so it's not quite as crunchy, if that makes sense. So now that we've got all the gel in the hair, we're gonna pull out another brush and we're gonna start smoothing it back. So the brush that I'm using now is what's called a paddle brush. The one that I'm using is by Nature's Touch and it has two different kinds of bristles. One is nylon and one is boar hair. And they're gonna help reduce all of the static and frizz in the hair and really smooth it back. If you were to try and do this with the Denman brush or any kind of wider tooth comb or brush, you're not gonna get that really nice slick look that we're looking for. So this brush is what's gonna get you that. So now that it has all nicely slicked back, I'm gonna tie it up with a silk scrunchie. I love using these because you can get creative with them. You can match them to the color of the kid's outfit and they'll get really excited about them. But you can also just use regular hair ties, but make sure you use proper ones, the ones you get from the chemist or the hair supply store. And one mistake a lot of guys do is they put rubber bands in their kid's hair and that can actually cause breakage. So you don't wanna do that. So next up, I'm gonna start spraying some more of the Super Detangle spray in her hair just to get it damp again because it will have dried out a little bit. The next step for Zoe is really easy. You just put a little bit of curl defining lotion in the ponytail, pull the Denman brush back out and just brush in an upward motion and that'll really encourage it to turn into one big curl, which looks super cute. Now I'm gonna put some curl defining lotion in the back of Ava's ponytail. The curl defining lotion I'm using is by Curly Kids. It's called Creamy Curl Defining Lotion. This stuff is great, it really helps to enhance the curls and I'm just gonna really try and get that all through the hair. Once it's lathered in there, I'm gonna start separating it into small pieces and pull out the Denman brush and just start brushing it in an upwards motion and I'm gonna do that just over and over again. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna really enhance those curls. Another pro tip that you can do is after you've brushed in the upwards motion and they drop, just sort of cup them with your hand a little bit and just push them up a little bit. If that even makes sense, that will help the curls become tighter. 
So this next step is one that you don't necessarily have to do and it's one that I still really struggle with but I think I'm getting a little bit better at or I'm trying to and that's doing the baby hairs. So get some of that eco gel and I'll just pat it around her forehead. Then I'll pull out a toothbrush. I actually use a baby toothbrush because it has softer bristles and I just try and brush those baby hairs down. I just try and swoop them around if that even makes sense. Um, something that I found that I was doing wrong in the beginning was I used too little gel so now I use a little bit of extra gel but I'm still struggling with it so don't go too hard on me in the comments with this one because I, I know I'm not perfect at it but I think it does look a little bit a little bit more stylish than it would if I didn't didn't do this step why do I sound so nervous all of a sudden hair community please don't come for me well, there you have it, a finished ponytail. When I first had daughters, I knew absolutely nothing about hair and I'm still learning as I go, but I feel like I'm getting better than I used to be. I really hope you learned something from this. This is definitely for the dads out there. And if you need any help, feel free to hit me up in the comments and I've listed all the products that I used in this video in the video description. Have a great day, guys.